the overall design of libraries and what they do for communities has actually changed a lot in, in, in the last 20 years or so. We're looking for a design that's going to fit into the downtown landscape. And so we wanted to do a building that, that seemed like it belonged there, but was of this era. The structure of the building became very simplified. We broke the building down into kind of three segments, front to back. The center segments, and it's wide open. It's the organizational kind of spine that runs through the building. It, it runs up through the stairs, the kind of open atrium and the stairs, and then out through the clerestory windows to bring light down into the center of the building. We had a great team of people. I uh, attribute uh, Johnson Roberts and D.A. Sullivan in, in bringing people here that wanted to work with the customer and wanted to do a good job. And that's why this building turned out so well. Once people walk in and, and see what, what their tax dollars bought, I think they realize, wow, we do need something like this. And this building is, is fantastic. The monitoring, the sensors in the building for fire and for HVAC, I mean, uh, you can diagnose problems very easy. We decided early on in the process that we were not going to use fossil fuels in the building, so the building is all electric. And that kind of was one of the drivers, that photovoltaic array up on the roof. We sloped up those sections of the roof so that they are more efficient. When it's bright outside, the light sensors inside will actually automatically dim the lighting down so the light stays even and we're using less energy. That's uh, solar harvesting is what we call that. People have just been thrilled with what they see. And one of the things that also thrills us is that we were able to provide enough space for anyone to use it, where all the book stacks are and the audiovisual, places to sit, comfortable chairs, tables with lights on them, electric outlets and USB ports where people can just plug in. There are no steps to get into this building. We tried to think of ADA compliance um, not only meeting the letter of the law, but also meeting the spirit of the law. We have a dedicated teen space that is just for them. We have tables, games, computers, a real space that's theirs. I feel like the library grew up. It sort of fits in with the landscape of Greenfield, especially this end of Main Street. There's a lot of glass partitions throughout the building so that you could have people at central locations and still see 95% of the library. It's not just a library, it's a community space. People can come reserve the rooms for meetings. There's a lot of books in here, but they also have these cool laptop vending machines. Folks want to be able to use the library and, and the technology kind of the way they would use it at home. and. Having, a, having somebody be able to come in and pick up a laptop and then go over and sit in a soft seat. And we want folks to be able to have that flexibility and places to read down at the ends of the book stacks. We've pulled reading spaces off to the ends and the corners, but they're still all connected, invisible from one space. So there's still this kind of sense of community. The project is designed in a fashion that is cost efficient while uh, achieving the goal of the librarians need. We had a tough task, but the building uh, was designed very efficiently. We were one of the very few projects in the entire Commonwealth that was not over budget at bid time. It really helps to connect the inside to the outside. We really wanted the space to feel like it was connected to Main Street. The entry plaza was a part of the community. The outdoor space has kind of become an extension of the library space. We have a patio directly outside the program room and you can just step through a door and you're out in the patio. The balcony on the second floor that looks out to the mountains, it's very visible from inside the building. You could go outside and take advantage of the library and, they, and you'd still be in that secure space. Projects can go well or they can go bad. And I think they go well when you have a good relationship with the owner's project manager, the construction company, and the architects. It's a critical component for a successful project, and we had a great team on, on this job. 